Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just to reiterate uh, what Austin said, uh, really pleased um, in partnership with O'Neill Industrial to have the opportunity today to talk to you about this groundbreaking premium efficiency oil free compressor range. Uh, the presentation today should last around 30 minutes and you can submit any uh, questions uh, via the text box uh, in the chat. Uh, we will, of course, endeavour to answer any queries you may have at the end of the presentation. Um, but, you know, we will follow up as well if, if we run out of time uh, or if there's anything we can't answer today. Uh, a quick introduction uh, to the company, uh, Ingus Oran, before we start. More than 16,000 employees in over 50 countries. Uh, Ingus Orlando have over 300 years experience between our brands. And our philosophy is based around creating partnerships that ensure the best solutions for highest efficiency, providing performance and reliability for life. And one of the ways we do this is to ensure an innovative approach to all our product portfolios allowing us the opportunity to bring new concepts to the market, such as the E-Series unit. And so without any further ado, I'll hand over to David, who will take us through the first of today's top 10 points, uh, our innovative drive concept. Okay, thanks, Graham. And good morning, everyone. Also from my side again. So as Graham said, we are going to highlight today the top 10 features of benefits of so the many features of benefit this is, that this new E-Series brings. And probably the most innovative aspect about this new technology is the innovative drive concept for highest efficiency. And this drive concept is basically based on two high efficiency permanent magnet motors, each with efficiencies better than IE4 standard. And these motors are directly coupled to the air ends. So that means on the one hand, we are able to control the speed of each stage individually and make sure that at any load point and at any ambient conditions, we always have an optimum performance. And on the other hand, we do not need any gearbox anymore in between motors and air ends. And that's absolutely unique on the market um, for two stage high school compressors. And the result of all this is basically savings in the area of 13% in terms of power consumption compared to yeah, a traditional concept. And if we switch to the next slide, we see again, to emphasize this a little bit more, a comparison. On the left picture, you see the traditional drive concept, which is always based on one main motor, which then via a gearbox drives the first stage and the second stage air end. And of course, that means such a design and especially the gearbox is typically designed then for an optimal performance in one design point. But as soon as we deviate from this design point, the performance gets worse. So in case of a speed regulated compressor like the new E-Series, as soon as we are going to park load or as soon as ambient conditions or the, nominal, uh, the operating pressure changes, then with the traditional concept, we are not, no longer in an optimal um, state. And of course, any gearbox always means efficiency losses and also comes in line with some um, oil demand, which we, for the new concept, which we had seen on the right side with the new E-Series, we do not have any more. So there is no physical gearbox anymore. And to explain a little bit what, or to give you a feeling of what that means in terms of performance, you see here two graphs. The left graph shows the free air delivery. Here in this example now for the air-cooled version of the E-Series. And you can see that basically over the whole nominal power range, the E-Series, which is the red curve, uh, delivers more air or has a higher free air delivery value compared to yeah, a competitor product. But even more important probably is the right uh, graph on the right side, which shows the specific power consumption. So how much power or how many kilowatts do you need for generating one cubic meter per minute of air? So here the desire is of course always to have a, a low value. And you can again see that the E-series over the whole nominal power range has a lower um, specific power consumption compared to a traditional competitor machine or to the nearest competitor actually. And to give you also some, yeah, feeling what that means in terms of money, we made a short return of investment calculation in this key findings box below, where we took a 160 
kilowatt uh, version of the E-series as an example with an average um, capacity of 85%, an electricity price of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Of course, these values can change depending on where you are, but just to give you some gut feeling. So with these boundary conditions, we end up at around 8,878 euros of savings that you have with the E-series compared to the nearest competitor, just due to the higher efficiency. Similar picture also for the water-cooled E-series, where we again see in the left picture the free air delivery, which more or less always, with one exception at 160 kilowatt, is higher than the nearest competitor. And at the same time, the specific power consumption, again, significantly lower compared to the traditional competitor machine. And here, again, a short return of investment calculation or financial calculation in this example now based on a 90 kilowatt model. Um, and here with the mentioned boundary conditions, the annual savings would again be in the area of 9,000 euros each year. And point two of our, our top center today are, are on the E-Series machine. Um, is that one of the key, key features of the E-Series is its best in class uh, footprint? You consider the cost of floor or building space. In the United Kingdom, for example, it can be over £2,000 per square metre to buy and up to £170 per square metre annually to rent. And the fact that multiple E-series units can be uh, installed close together is a real plus point. Not only the less uh, volumetric area covered, but the fact that with the water-cooled unit being an enclosed package, which is not relying on ambient air, we can install multiple units much closer together, as you can see in this example. Here we can see in competitive comparison, uh, the water cool unit is clearly best in class at just 2.84 uh, meters squared. There's our main competition. And again, with the air cool version, um, we can see that the Ingersoll Rand D series and the IRM uh, 160K have a much better footprint than our main competition, in particular, uh, the Atlas Cocco unit equivalent. Coming to point number three in our list, which is the lowest noise level of the E-series. And this very low noise level is basically achieved by this unique closed package design, which means that all components inside the compressor package are water-cooled. The intercooler, the aftercooler, also the air and jackets, the motors, the inverters, even the thermal radiation of all components like the motors and air ends and so on is captured inside the cooling water. And by the way, not only for the water-cooled models, also the air-cooled models still have an internal closed-loop water circuit. So that basically has the advantage that on the one hand, we are collecting on average 12% more heat, which we capture in cooling water and which is then also available for heat recovery. But the point which I would like to emphasize here is the very low noise emissions. And if we go to the next slide, we see a comparison of um, the noise level of the E-series. You can see here, let's say the worst case of the largest machine, the 160 kilowatt model, air-cooled, Air cooled is always slightly louder than the water cooled due to the fans. But even in these conditions under full load, the maximum noise level is just 70 dB. And if you compare this with other machines on the market, you can see that there is an advantage between 4 to 10 dB, which if you think about this logarithmic scaling, makes a huge difference. And I can always only emphasize whenever you have a possibility, maybe at a later time also to to visit or to see an E-series installed in the field or maybe by visiting us in our factory in Simmern in Germany where the machines are built and also tested on the test bench, then it is really a great experience to, yeah, to see that you can basically stand next to the machine running at full load and you can still talk more or less um, without problems to each other. And on to point four, uh, foot the full upgradability between 75 and 160 kW. Another completely unique seller point, the ability to provide flexibility across the range 
75 to 160 kilowatt allow an adjustment of nominal power via an upgrade kit that takes around two hours to install and commission so no expensive changing of units no wait time for a larger unit to be delivered just that peace of mind that if air demand increases we have an easy low cost solution we have case studies where people have utilized uh, this feature um, uh, really recently particularly in the pharmaceutical industry so they've seen increased demands and increased from 90 kilowatt to 132 kilowatt uh, and we also have examples of uh, end users who have sized their, their downstream and their power supply uh, to, to, to utilize this feature in the future Point number five in our list is the optional heat recovery for both, not only the water-cooled models, but also the air-cooled models, which is something completely unique because there is no other air-cooled oil-free compressor on the market which can be used for heat recovery. And here in this table, you see basically a summary of different heat recovery options we have for the E-series, basically to, um, yeah, to fulfill every individual customer requirement. The first or the basic option would be basically just the integrated heat recovery, which just means that the compressor is put into a position that it is able to generate cooling water outlet temperatures of up to 90 degrees Celsius, which can then be used for whatever purposes, sanitary purposes, as process heat, or maybe as a preheating step for a later steam production. There are multiple applications. And this first option is actually not an option that you have to pay for. This is already a standard feature. So inside the compressor package, there are two, three way valves, which you just have to skip to change the compressor from a standard operating mode into a heat recovery mode with these higher cooling water outlet temperatures. The second option then here in this list is the so-called heat recovery plus, which basically means that it also includes the control of the cooling water outlet temperature. So here in this case, we then have a little control valve with an actuator and a compact controller. And in this compact controller, you just enter a, a set point, like for example, 85 degree or yeah, the maximum would be 90 degree Celsius. And then the compressor automatically, even when the load changes or when ambient conditions change, always um, controls the cooling water outlet temperature to the requested level. The third option here for the water-cooled E-series would be our turnkey solution, which is the so-called Emax heat recovery box. And this Emax box includes basically everything you need for heat recovery. So not only heat exchangers, also a pump, a redundant backup pump if required, the whole controls and many control, additional control options, inclusive, inclusively also a visualization of the current and the accumulated heat recovered so that you also have an overview of your savings. So that would be really the plug and play solution, which you can just basically, where you just have to connect the water uh, connections of the E-series compressor with your Emax heat recovery box and then can start um, saving money. And the last column here, as I said in the beginning, absolutely unique on the market, the air-cooled E-series, which is the only air-cooled oil-free compressor on the market, which can also generate hot cooling water or hot water temperatures of up to 85 degrees Celsius usable temperatures in this case. And in this case, with this option, you basically have everything you need for heat recovery already included inside the compressor package. So all the heat exchangers, the controls, the pump, everything is already included inside the compressor package. So even more compact than the water cooled where you still have this external Emax heat recovery box. And here you see a picture of the Emax uh, heat recovery box where you can see that basically all the components like heat exchangers, pump, and the controls, including this controller um, with touch screen, all included in this one box here. And there are numerous additional options, especially on the control side, to yeah, basically satisfy every individual need. The next picture now shows um, the air-cooled E-series uh, with the heat recovery option. 
And the trick here is basically that even in the air-cooled E-series, the compressor components are still water-cooled. So the intercooler, the after-cooler, the air ins jackets, the motors, all these components are still cooled by water, but this is not water that the user has to supply externally into the compressor. This is just an internal closed loop water circuit. So this water takes up the heat of the compression and is then later in this air water cooler, which you see on the left side, this large uh, water cooler, uh, cooled down and then re-injected into the compressor area. And this has the great advantage that instead of recooling this internal cooling water with air, you can also use this optional heat recovery heat exchanger and heat up usable water instead, which can then be used for whatever purpose at temperatures of up to 85 degrees Celsius. And this, of course, whenever you have the situation, you need a compressor, you don't have cooling water available at site or no potential to, to cool back the cooling water, but at the same time you have a heat demand, then only this compressor, the E-series air-cooled, um, can basically deliver both compressed air as well as heat recovery. And to give you a feeling of what that means in terms of yeah, econom economic numbers, um, we have made here a comparison in this diagram. You see the upper bar, which would be the typical running costs of a conventional air-cooled oil-free compressor. So here with the boundary conditions, which are summarized in the upper right corner, like 8,000 hours per year at a load of 20 cubic meters per minute, electricity price of 7.5 cent per kilowatt hour, we have assumed, then with the traditional conventional air-cooled oil compressor, your running costs per year would be in the area of 90,000 euros. With the E-series now, due to the higher efficiency of the uh, pressure uh, generation of the compression, um, you have already savings in the area of 10,000 euros. And if you now have the possibility on top of that also to recover the heat of the compression, and let's say you are substituting a gas boiler, so you don't need any gas anymore for generating your heat, then of course you would have additional savings because you don't need any gas anymore. And based on a gas price of three cents per kilowatt hours, your savings then would increase to in the in total around 40,000 euros per year compared to the conventional air-cooled oil-free compressor, which cannot be operated with heat recovery. And the last bar here in this chart is more the hypothetical case, let's say, to, to illustrate a little bit the general potential. If you have um, a, an installation where currently you are not using gas, but you are generating your heat with electricity, with an electric heater, which of course, from an economic point of view, would be the worst thing you can do because electricity is much more expensive than gas. But in such a case, if you can get rid of the electric heater by recovering the heat of the compressor, your savings would be even bigger and be in the area of 80,000 euros per year. And again, we made a small TCO calculation. Um, this time we assumed that um, the customer decides for a monthly lease investment where based on some boundary conditions which we have assumed we would have a monthly uh, leasing fee including service care of around 2880 euros per month if we now assume or take this in contrast to the savings that we have and for this calculation we've now taken this the assumption that we are substituting a gas boiler, so not this um, hypothetical case, the more realistic scenario of substituting a gas boiler with the heat of compression, then we would actually not have any monthly costs anymore due to the higher um, savings compared to the competition or to the conventional air-cooled oil-free compressor, we would actually have savings in the area of 450 euros per year. Yeah, so moving on to point six, um, and a further benefit of the heat recovery option on the air-cooled unit is the potential for hybrid cooling. It's another completely unique feature, meaning air or water or both can be used in warmer climates uh, in summer. If no cooling water is available, the unit can be switched to air-cooled 
or if maintenance is required on the water cooling equipment, it can again be switched to air cooled. Again, if the heat from warm air discharge was required for space heating in winter, the unit can be run as a traditional air cooled unit, while in the summer it can produce hot processed water. Finally, hybrid cooling allows us to reduce operating costs by using water cooling whenever possible and avoid fan power consumption. The ultimate flexibility between the two cooling systems. Coming to point number seven, which is another way of using the heat of the compression. Um, so instead of recovering it for heat recovery, another option is the heat of compression for lowest pressure dew points without energy consumption. And for this, we have our uh, so-called EHOC heat of compression dryer series, which is again a turnkey solution, particularly developed for the E-series. So all connections already um, designed to suit for the E-series that it's more or less like an integrated dryer solution, you could say. And with these dryers, we can achieve very low pressure dew points of up to minus 40 degrees Celsius at any time. Depending on boundary conditions, you may need some electric heaters from time to time to really come to minus 40 degrees Celsius. However, the, the rule of thumb is that in most cases or more or less always a pressure dew point of up to minus 25 degrees Celsius can be achieved without any additional energy consumption. And for this, we have these three models available depending on the sizes of the E-series. Um, again, as I mentioned, turnkey, so just more or less a plug and play solution. And on the next slide, we see also, uh, again, a small economic evaluation. And here we made a, compress a comparison of the EHOC heat of compression dryer against some other dryer technologies, which in principle can also generate low pressure to point, like here in this example with the boundary conditions, which I mentioned there, of minus 25 degrees Celsius. So like a vacuum purge desiccant air dryer, a heatless desiccant adsorption dryer, or also a hybrid dryer, combination of desiccant and uh, fridge dryer. All these dryer technologies have a certain demand for electricity, for example, for operating the vacuum pump, or they have some purge air consumption, purge air which also needs to be produced by the compressor first. So you also need electricity to generate this purge air. So you can say that your operating costs based on the above mentioned boundary conditions are in the area between five and 15,000 euros per year. And if you compare this now with the last column, which shows the cost for our heat of compression dryer, which is just 90 euros per year. Um, and these 90 euros are basically just for operating the controllers of the dryer, not for the compression process itself. Then you can see that you have these savings of five to 15,000 euros each year. And even though the initial investment in such a heat of compression dryer is typically higher than the other alternatives, but the payback with these savings that you have each year is typically less than three, or in many cases, even less than two years. Point eight, we just want to talk about our care service programs. On top of all our unique points that make uh, the East Asia fantastic innovation, we also want to take this opportunity to showcase our care service program. Our offering doesn't stop at supplying the compressors themselves, we want to build relationships that last and we feel our flexible care programs give us the opportunity to do just that. Consistent with our industrial technologies and services strategy, we want to focus on your complete air system from generation to the point of use. Select Care is a comprehensive uh, preventative maintenance coverage package. You can extend the standard warranty up to 60 months. We have early detection of impending problems. It's IoT ready. Uh, all equipment maintenance would be performed to specification and schedule. Covers all the regular maintenance, spare parts, consumables, coolants required. And of course, comprehensive expertise via factory trained certified technicians. We want to reduce your maintenance cost and re remove any uncertainty and give no billing surprises. The point being peace of mind, 
They're all essential maintenance to keep the system in peak conditions taken care of. And we can do this in hand with our distribution partners. With an extensive network of factory trained technicians carrying out audits to identify cost savings and ensure our customers have the right equipment optimised to peak efficiency. Provide expert maintenance and guidance on all end user compress their needs. The benefit, quick, flexible response from expert staff who know their area carry the stock required to respond effectively in a timely manner. Other benefits of our packages include the use of only genuine parts to keep customers machines in specification, removing the risk of decreased performance and increased costs. A good example of this could be a, a, a blocked or porous air filter causing a pressure drop, making the unit work harder, use more energy, or potentially contaminate the internals of the machine. IoT or Internet of Things ready with HD capability. And this means live minute by minute data to a bespoke dashboard that the end user can make their own, a must for latest Industry 4.0 requirements. This allows us to predict issues before they occur and respond rapidly before they can impact production. Essentially, we want to ensure all our customers' total peace of mind. And the difference, our proactive programs focus on reliability and preventative maintenance. Our intent always to improve the complete service we offer. Our track record with over 1 million horsepower of compressed air globally currently taken care of backs up our statement here, reliability for life. The next point in our list is the reliable and stable errand performance of the errands used for the E-Series. These errands, which are produced and manufactured in Germany in our center of excellence for oil free screw compressors in Simmern, include several um, features, let's say, which contribute to this very reliable and stable performance. On the one hand, we have this coating, which is based on two layers, PTFE and a nickel PTFE layer, which is very durable and has a very long term performance, which we will also see in a short case study in a second. And other contributing features are the cooling jackets, which are always water cooled for the air cooled models, as well as for the water cooled models, always the cooling jackets of the errands are water cooled, which has the big advantage compared to yeah, competitors who are typically using oil, especially for air cooled compressors to cool the jackets. Of course, you don't want to have oil in an oil free compressor or you want to reduce your oil inside the compressor to a minimum. But moreover, or more importantly, water has a much better heat capacity compared to oil. So that means you can get more heat out of your compression process. You, so you're getting closer to the thermodynamic optimum case of an idle thermal compression. And that means the overall efficiency is improved and also the stress, the thermal stress for the components um, is reduced which again um, leads then to a long errand life and also of all related components like bearings and so on. And the bearings are also actually additionally protected by balancing pistons, which we are using on both stages, first stage and second stage, to balance out the bearing load, which normally or typically um, is created by the fact that we have a pressure increase from one um, side of the rotor to the other side. And this, uh, this pressure increase results in an axial load on the bearings of the errands. And this load is completely uh, neutralized by using these balancing pistons. And here we see um, a short case study where we measured the performance of our errands in three points in time. So if you look at these diagrams, which you see on the right side, you can see the specific power consumption, which was measured at full speed in the other graph and at half speed in the lower one. And the first measurement was after the, the air was built. Then we did another measurement after more than 8,000 operating hours and the third one after 14,000 operating hours. And what we can basically see if we look at the specific power consumption is 
that first the values go slightly up, then they go slightly down, actually even lower than the original um, conditions. So what you can conclude from that is that there is no significant performance decrease over a period of 15, uh, 14,000 euros measurable. All the deviations are more or less within the uh, measuring tolerance. And yeah, that leads us to number 10 in our list. Yep, thanks, David. So finally, to round off our top 10, I'd like to bring to your attention our Air Insight Auditing tool. And this is our advanced cloud-based data logging system, which is part of our, our philosophy of total package care. Enables us to easily and competently audit not just compressed air equipment, but complete systems. We want you to get the best out of your compressed air system by identifying air energy efficiencies, lowering your capital spending, and improving return on investment. We also want to lower your carbon footprint, give you the lowest operating cost possible for your system and help improve the manufacturing productivity. Saving you money and energy and just as importantly, reduce all our environmental impact. And here we can see our site-wide philosophy on the supply side. We look at equipment, controls, monitoring, maintenance and installation. And on the demand side, leaks, artificial demand, system dynamics, the design of the system itself, and again, monitoring equipment. And we can back this up with a wide range of high quality sensors, collecting information on current and volts, enabling true power to be accurately measured, pressure, dew point, temperature, any four to 20 milliamp output and flow. Meaning we can analyze, char, graph, and simulate, delivering a complete professional audit report, which adds value to your system by ensuring you have the right generation equipment running in the correct manner, and along with unique innovative products like the E-Series machine and our flexible service packages, we can provide you with the complete compressed air solution. In summary, these are 10 points alongside many other features and benefits of the E-Series and its associated products and services. And I hope this has been a, a useful introduction to what we feel is, is a really exciting addition to our product portfolio. So thanks very much for your time and for listening. And if you have any questions, uh, we'll be happy to answer them now. Okay, it's already see one question which has come in, which is why is there no other air-cooled oil-free compressor that can offer heat recovery? Yeah, and the reason behind is really that the ECR is, is the only oil-free air-cooled compressor which still uses an internal water circuit to cool the compressor. And that means only here we have the possibility to use this hot water to generate then hot usable water of up to 85 degrees Celsius. With any other air-cooled oil free compressor on the market, you could just, if you are lucky, use, let's say, the hot cooling air, maybe in the winter time, for example, for, for heating up your factory. But at least in the summer, when there is no um, space heating demand, then this energy is completely blown to the atmosphere. And with the air-cooled E-series, you have basically, you still have the possibility to, to use hot cooling air, but in addition, or in combination also, you can also generate hot water of um, 85 degrees Celsius usable temperature, which no other air cooled oil compressor can. There's another question another? in there now, David. Okay. Which dryer is best for part load um, E-series operation? Um, yeah, here we can say, um, if you think about this EHOC heat of compression dryer series, which we showed during the presentation, that this dryer is also very flexible in terms of um, part load operation. So you can easily go down to 50, 
percent load without any compromise on the achievable pressure dew point. So you can still reach your minus 25 without energy consumption or with electric heater minus 40 degrees Celsius at any time. Whereas if you think about other alternative um, technologies um, using the heat of compression concept, like for example, concepts based on a drum, a rotating drum, these always typically have the downside or the disadvantage that as soon as you are deviating, or as, soon as you're going to part load, um, your dryer performance also gets worse. And also, typically, they need some time to, when you start the compressor before the dryer really reaches a stable pressure dew point. And that's one of the advantages of these E-series, um, EHOC dryer series that here really from the first second onward, you always have your um, requested pressure dew point guaranteed. And how do these units compare to others in terms of, of noise generation? V very well. Um, it, it's the quietest uh, oil-free compressor in this range on the market. Uh, and depending on whether it's air or water cooled, it can be up to 10 dBA uh, better than the competition. Um, it really does need to be heard to be believed, as David said in the presentation, when you stand alongside it and you can comfortably have a, co a conversation while the machine is running, um, it, it really does bring it home how quiet this unit is. And then there's a question, do you intend to expand the E-Series to a larger unit that can deliver 14 to 16 bar? At the moment, that's not in our focus, um, I have to admit. Um, the E-series as a standard can reach up to 10 bar. So with every model, you're very flexible due to the fact that um, the control, uh, the speed of both errands can always be controlled individually. Um, you can also uh, change basically the um, the operating pressure between four to 10 bar um, without compromising the efficiency compared to other technologies where you typically always have, for example, an eight bar version or in a 10 bar version with separate um, gearbox settings. This is, um, yeah, for the E-series, we don't, we just have one model which can cover the whole pressure range, but not such higher pressures like 14 to 16 bar. Traditionally, with this type of technology, a dry screw, it's difficult to compress to higher pressures than 10 bar. Um, David touched on the thermodynamic effect of, of compressing in this way, and it, that the heat becomes just too great uh, at those higher pressures. Um, typically, we would move to a, a different type of technology to, to reach those kind of pressures. Um, traditionally, that would, would be a piston unit. Um, we can we do have products that can do that, but it's difficult to do with this type of technology. Yes, we can make the presentation available. That, that's absolutely fine. If anybody would like a copy, um, Austin, maybe you can answer how you'll follow up on that. Yeah, we've recorded uh, this, this morning's presentation. So anybody interested, just uh, drop us a mail and we're happy to, to share we'll, it with you. We'll share a PDF version. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. So one more question there. Increased lifetime expected with the E-Series. I mean, it, one of the th features is the, the lifespan of the air end and its, its bearings. Okay, David touched on, on, on how we... We maximise that, you know, we, we don't compromise on reliability for efficiency or for uh, free air delivered. Um, we're always striving for reliability within the machine and, and we expect the air ends to last 60,000 hours plus. Um, it's 60,000 hours as a minimum before we would look at, at replacements of the air end and its bearings. Um, and I think that gives some indication when you compare that to um, competitor or equivalent technologies uh, of what we expect the lifetime of this, this machine to be. Um, in terms of an approximate increase, there's a lot of variables, depends on running conditions and how hard the machine works. Um, it's considerably over-engineered in all ways, the, the cooling, um, I say the life of the air ends, the, the size of the inverters. So, so we expect it to exceed 
um, sort of the expected normal life of this type of machine. Absolutely. And maybe we could also enter, uh, add to that that uh, we have this extended warranty, mm. uh, which you have also shown, Grant, during the presentation, which means that during this period of um, the first five years, any failure to errands or motors um, or other main components is fully covered by this extended warranty. So compared to others who typically exclude main components like the errands from their warranty or from an extended warranty, here you have also the errands um, completely free of charge included in this extended warranty. You just have to stick to the standard maintenance intervals and use genuine spare parts basically. Anything else? No, I don't think there are any more um, questions coming in. So just to conclude, uh, I, ho I hope you all agree, having seen, seen the, the presentation, that this machine really is, um, you know, a, a, a groundbreaking unit uh, uh, in, in, in oil-free technology. Um, so if there's anybody, you know, looking for this presentation or any other information, please do um, let us know and uh, we're, we're happy to provide whatever you need. So um, I just conclude by thank, thanking uh, uh, Graham and uh, David uh, for, for the presentation and to everybody that's joined. Thanks uh, very much for, for taking the time. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, thanks to everyone for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you too. Okay. Bye-bye everyone. Bye for now. Bye everyone.